Welcome. Chronic pain has become a major problem for us globally, not just in the United States. And it's becoming a bigger issue for us as therapists, or for that matter, any healthcare provider to deal with. A lot of people always ask us, why is chronic pain a big issue? And the answer is probably a lot of different reasons. One of the reasons people struggle with pain is that the models we're using are often flawed. It's quite simple. When people have pain, we teach them anatomy. When people have pain, we teach them biomechanics. And it doesn't make sense. All of the research we've done have shown us that people that have pain want to know more about pain. The interesting thing is not only do they want to know about pain, but they're able to take on concepts of pain, especially even what we would consider very complex issues about pain. Up until today, we have about a dozen randomized controlled trials, high-level studies, two systematic reviews that shows us when we teach people more about pain and they understand it, really understand it, they actually experience less pain. They move better, they function better, their pain catastrophization decrease, they're able to do more exercise and they're willing to push further into discomfort or pain. And the funny thing about all of this is it doesn't even come at a big cost. The interesting thing is people want to know more about pain and we have to teach them more about pain. The biology of pain, the physiology of pain, how pain works. What we have created in the last 15 to 20 years in our research is basically a series of stories, metaphors if you will. The research shows us when people want to learn more about pain, they want to hear via stories, examples, pictures. We don't learn through very simple healthcare education where we sit and educate people face to face, but we tell them stories. They love stories. And what we have designed here with the Why You Hurt system is an outflow of that. If we teach people stories about pain, metaphors, examples, the same way that mom and dad taught you early on in your life, you actually learn easier and much more comfortable in a clinical setting. What we have here are two examples. If you take an example of something like a, a lion that jumps in a room, we use an example of this, a metaphor. When a lion jumps in a room, what would you do? Well, I'd run away. I would shove the therapist in front of you. Heart rate goes up, pupils dilate, muscles contract. Well, these are examples where we would tell patients about a stress response. They remember the metaphor. What would you do if a lion jumps in the room? And the lion is a very simple example of all the stresses in our life when it comes to pain. Another favorite example we often use is the fact that the nervous system or your body works like an alarm system. Every nerve in your body, 45 miles of it, just buzzing along, enjoying life, and then the alarm system would activate, become sensitive to protect you. And what people now experience as persistent pain is likely more a sensitive nervous system. And then in this model, we frame therapy movement, blood flow, circulation, oxygen, all the neat stuff we can offer patients to desensitize the nervous system rather than trying to fix something that may not have been broken. What we've done here in the Why You Hurt system, as I open it up very simply, is we've created 14 different metaphors or stories. Easy to understand, easy to follow. We've trialed it in research. We've trialed it for about 15 years of clinical practice. Simple, easy story. Sitting with a patient, probably lasting no more than five, 10, 15 minutes at the most, which is very manageable in clinical scenarios. The biggest problem people always tell us is, Adrian, I don't have time for this. I, I don't think you don't have any time for this. There's a lot of time here. Yep, 15 minute increments. 10 minutes with the patient and then they go exercise. 10 minutes with the patient, you do your manual therapy. This is paced graded exposure to education. And what we've done here for you is create a very vivid example of different images, color, metaphors and stories that is designed to explain probably in our case, the 14 most complex things patients wanna learn about. Why do I still hurt? Why does my pain spread? How does stress affect my pain? Why don't I know what left and right is of my body? Why is the ankle still swollen? All of these beautiful stories that all of us would like to know in a simple, easy way to understand about pain. People in pain want to know more about pain. We've given you the tools. We strongly encourage you to think about using these in clinical practice from the acute care patient to the subacute to the more chronic and complex patients. We have now studies coming through in acute care that shows us when we teach acute care patients this, it even helps us prevent part of this chronic pain and disability. People want to know more about pain, teach them more about pain, and we really truly hope this will help these patients in their recovery.